What's up, YouTube? You're now tuned into the Mr. and Mrs. Good Brad show. I'm your host, Mr. Good Brad. Okay, guys, welcome to the channel. You know, over here, we don't cater to any one particular group, gender, community, society, gang, organization, or association. We also do not woman bash, man bash. We call out bad behavior. So if you feel offended or you feel away, you might want to check your behavior. Check out this intro, and when we come back, I'm going to give you guys 15 ways we complicate our life and make it way more complicated than it should be. All right. All right, guys, and we back. Let's get straight into it. You know what I mean? 15 things that make life so complicated, make our own life, how we make our own life complicated. All right, number one, guys, is gonna be hoarding off the rip. We gotta get rid of the paper. We gotta get rid of the paperwork and we gotta get rid of the clothes that we don't use. We got things that's laying around us for years that we never gonna touch, never gonna use again. We gotta get rid of that. That make life complicated and it's clutter. You know what I mean? It's not good, guys, all right? Next thing, guys, number two, we gotta stop lying. It's some some of us just can't help but lie. And when you tell one lie, it leads to the next lie, and then that lie leads to the next lie. And we not designed to lie. You know what I mean? God hate a liar, to tell you the truth. You know what I mean? You gotta stop lying, guys. Number three, guys, is we gotta place our belongings in its own spot. We gotta start keeping track of the things we use on a daily basis. So, like for instance, I have my little key hook that I lay right there, I throw the key on the hook, and I know that that's where that's sat. So when it's time for it, I go straight to it. You know what I mean? You get rid of all of that chaotic lurk, looking and searching around. It's, it's time wasteful and time is money. You know what I mean? Not knowing where your wallet is, not knowing where you put your stuff. And that, that's all time consuming and time is money. You can't get time back. All right, guys, number four is these little sit around complain sessions that we do with our friends. If you're not linking with your friends and finding solutions or just flat out being happy, doing what y'all want to do, then it's a waste of your time. You know what I mean? You're going to mess your mental, your mental state and your mindset up just sitting around with a group of people complaining about what it should be when you have the power to fix it and make it what you want it to be. You know what I mean? So get rid of that habit. You know what I mean? Get rid of that. Don't be sitting in these groups and, 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 and complaining about life. You know what I mean? That makes life complicated. Mm -hmm. Five guys, s stop being this fake busy stuff. Don't do the fake busyness, you know what I mean? I mean, people sometimes, they play so busy to hide their reality and to hide mistakes and hide bad decisions. You know what I mean? It's not healthy and you make life complicated by being just being busy, just being busy. Like, what are you trying to accomplish? What is your goal? You know what I mean? Always have your priorities set. You know what I mean? You don't just want to be busy, 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 busy. Like, you need to take breaks. You need to, you know what I mean? Know where you going. Know where you going. Or it's going to get very, very, very complicated for you guys. Number six, a lot of my guys, you got this problem, guys. Stop being the white knight. Stop having the white knight syndrome. You know what I mean? You make life very complicated when you always trying to rescue people. You know what I mean? When you always trying to, to, to put people before you put yourself out. You know what I mean? You have to value yourself before you be able to even help somebody else. You know what I mean? So by you keep jumping out there, saving people without saving yourself first, you gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna make life very complicated for you. Number seven, guys, a lot of you guys, y'all slap and rush and do, do, and do things all jacked up the first go around. And then you, and then that, then you end up doing things two times. You know what I mean? You got to be more prepared the first go around so you don't waste time having to spin back and do it again, guys. That's how you complicate things. That's how you complicate life. When you just rush through stuff the first go around, some people don't get another chance. 
You know what I mean? So always be well prepared to do it right the first go around. I mean, that's highly, highly, highly important, right, guys. Right. And number eight, number eight, very important. I mean, I could put number eight as one. You always want to have an open mind to change and stop, stop that. That's how we always did that. That's how we always do it. That's, you know what I mean? That's that poison mentality. That's that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just let it stay poor. Let it just look all crazy and hang off, look like it's hanging off about, you know what I mean? If it look broke, Fix it, yo. It's gonna get broke. You know what I mean? Dead serious, guys. You know what I mean? So stop all that. Stop all that. Keep an open mind. Always have an open mind to change. You know what I mean? Just because that's always how you did it don't mean it's the best way to do it or it's the easiest way to do it. Put it like that. You know what I mean? Right, and number nine on our list of how we make things complicated for ourselves, trying to fill a void. Why is we always trying to fill a void space? Like sometimes it's conversations that go dead and it's go silent and, and it's okay to be in silence. It's okay to have nothing to say. You know what I mean? It's okay to not have to buy that living room set to fit, fill this. Like it's okay not to have if you have an empty space in your house or in your closet, it's okay to just let it rock. Let it be empty. It's okay. The only thing should never be empty is your refrigerator, all right? But it's okay not to sh shop and, and put shit in, in spaces just because it's space there. You know what I mean, it's okay to, to let a conversation d go down and not have to say some old weird, dumb shit out your mouth to make the conversation awkward, to keep the conversation going. You know what I mean? Stop trying to fill a void. That makes your life complicated, little do you know. Number 10, I could have tied in with, you know what I mean, keeping, I'm um, trying to be busy. Because if you just working just to work, you know what I mean, then that don't make no sense. You know what I mean? You got to work to work for yourself. You know what I mean? You want to be working to work for yourself. You know what I mean? People that just work just to work is, 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 is the saddest people and the most depressed people on, on the world, in, in, on, on earth, because you want to be doing things that you love to do. You know what I mean? You want to be doing things, even if you're working hard, but if you love doing what you're doing, the, you want to be working hard with light tools. The tools are not going to be as heavy as they are when you're not loving what you're doing and you're just doing it just for a paycheck. You know what I mean? So you want to love what you do. You know what I mean? You don't want to be just working just to work. You know what I mean? That's that's depression. Number 11, guys. And I said, I said this one going to be for, for a lot of the females and mostly for the guys. But a lot of the females, I tell you all this on social media especially. Stop trying to control everything. That's how you make your life complicated as well. When you're trying to control everything, that's... You know, some things is going to be above, beyond your control. You're not going to be able to control it. You know what I mean? And that's okay. You know what I mean? Some things is not meant for you to control. To control. You know what I mean? You're going to just keep trying to control everything. And you add it on tasks to an already busy self. You know what I mean? You, you're going to you're gonna overload <laughs> at the end of the day. But all right, guys. So let's get on to the next one. This is one of those things right here that's gonna separate the 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 poor and from from the wealthy, the guys that's really getting money from the guys that's out here really, 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 really faking it. You know what I mean? Because you know what I mean you you wanna keep up with your annuals. You wanna keep up with your annual necessities. You know what I mean? When you start to complicate that. Now, now you fake living. You 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 faking it till you make it. And what I mean by that, I mean by you already know you got a you got annuals. You the same way you got doctor's appointments and you want to keep up on those so that you physically fit. You have your car payments. You have debt. You have bills. You know what I mean? You know when those bills are paid. You pay those bills on time. You don't start this. I pay it then or I pay it now. I pay half or or. Just not pay it and let it stack. And you want to control all those annuals. If anything, you start paying those things uh, like a month ahead so that you, you know what I mean? Just keep up with your annuals. That's, life can get very messy when, you, when you're when not keeping up with them annuals, all right? 
And I mean, that's when all of the debt come and it'll slow you down. You'll be winning right now, but then you start losing your car, your credit, start messing up. Listen, stay on your annuals. I know, I know a lot of y'all that watch my channel, y'all shouldn't have no problem with identifying, you know what I mean, number 13, which is staying out of them toxic relationships. This is man or woman. You know what I mean? Stop wasting time with these toxic relationships. Ladies, you're wasting your beauty. You're wasting your best years. You know what I mean? S get out of there. Get out of there. Fellas, fellas, you know disrespect when you see it. You know, you know them, you know them bees to the third power when you see them. You know what I mean? So stop it. You know what I mean? Nah, we're not gonna stick on that one. That's that's the easy one right there. You know what I mean? And listen, and then we we'll, we we'll tie that in with number fourteen. You know what I mean? Which is stop avoiding confrontations, ladies. If you with a if you with a dude that you need to sit down and have that conversation with, have that conversation. You know what I mean? Stop avoiding confrontation. Because that's how you're going to make your life complicated. Because right now, you're going to avoid it. But all it's going to do is get worse. And then you're going to blow up. And now you're mad at every single man in the world. You know what I mean? So you need to have that conversation with him right now. You need to have that conversation with him right now. Stop avoiding confrontations. Fellas, you too. You little sensitive lesbian men. You know what I mean? If she making you feel like less of a man because she's doing everything that you know you're supposed to be doing and your mom's taught you that you were supposed to do, you know what I mean? Then you need to have that conversation with her. You know what I mean? And stop being, you know what I mean? Don't, don't, she ain't gonna hurt you. She ain't gonna hurt you. Have that, don't be scared of confrontation. You know what I mean? That's how you make life complicated. You can nip a situation in the butt right now. But you drag it and then in the future, make it worse for yourself. Complicated. You know what I mean, guys? And last but not least, guys, number 15, what you eat is very important. You know what I mean? What you put in your body, what you put in your temple, you know what I mean? It's very important. That could lead to all types of health complications when you get older. You know what I mean? And right now. You know what I mean? Cancer and um. You got high cholesterol, low cholesterol, you know what I mean? Diabetes, you got a lot of things that could go wrong by you not eating right and healthy, guys. So, I mean, those are just 15 things that you want to try to correct and, you know what I mean, become a better better you. I mean, that's what we're going to do now. I mean, I'm going to take a little break from so much of the female nature and I'm going to go into showing you guys how to give get this bag and how to live a little bit healthier, you know what I mean? And really come up out that brainwash and that social programming. Cause we all had, we all had, we all, we all, you know what I mean? We all did it. We all was highly engulfed in the bullshit. But um, it's been real guys and I appreciate you. And hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and tell a friend to tell a friend. It's going down, man, it's going down.